These are squash bugs. Hello and welcome. It's Amanda, creative gardener. And these things here are what I've been battling on what is my cotton. Started out as a cotton plant, but has developed into more than that. And so what they live on is the, um, the cotton that grows. When it starts growing into, um, I can't remember what they're called, but um, you have the flower and then you have the bud. And then from the bud, you get the cotton. And so these things, appeared. Now that's an adult. I think that's the female or it's the, um, you have one that has a black bottom and one that is all red. So one's red and black and one has a black bottom. And what they essentially do is eat the seeds so this is a bird's nest and they infested this bird's nest I, I'm, I'm not even sure how and when the the bird actually you know the babies but then when I looked at it it was covered and um, I'm not gonna get too close yeah the birds obviously gone but there are some there's a couple of, of the squash bugs. I think that's what their, their, their official name I'll put on the screen. But um, they, you find them over some of the wall, walls. <laughs> anyway, so the bundles of cotton and you'll find them. And so that's, um, they're up in there. As I say, I did try and get rid of some. I've been using so many different ways of uh, natural to, to try and um, get rid of them, but they, it's, it's very hard. It's been, it's proved very hard. And um, I didn't even realize that they were there until I had cut this back and I've moved some over on my deadwood fence here. Semi-deadwood fence. And I saw this red thing crawling up and it was just like, what is that? So let's see if we can find some more for you to see. See if I can find either it's the male or female, one of them. We've also got some, um, Tropical black sage growing here, and that has its own pests as well. Okay, so you see, you can see some growing, and I'm not even sure what their predators are. Whether they have any predators, whether that colour that they have is to warn other insects off. So there's one on there but there's more clusters inside and more adults let's move around we go around this way we've just literally had the grass cut so it's um you might be able to catch a few more i saw there was a few around here just to make sure i'm not standing under a few that we, you know it's like there she is let's get her yeah but in the garden it sh you know there's going to be lots of different bugs friendly and not friendly that you're going to come across hello there's a few oh so we've got a couple here they um Oh, 
There they are. They're running away. There you can see. So those are the babies. We've got an ant there. And we've got a couple that's just gone under the rock. Um, but oh, there's some more around here. Sorry for the trying to keep it as steady as possible. I thought I saw some around here. So what they do is they join bottom to bottom. So we've got some here. They join end to end and that's how they reproduce. And look at that. Ooh. What are they eating? They've got, oops. I've got no idea what they're doing. But that's them. So you can see those two are joint. So they, those two seem to be mating. And um, I'm not sure how many how many eggs or yeah how many eggs they lay but it's been it's it's a few because I sprayed it with a soapy solution with oil and that seemed to get rid of a few and then I'm seeing more clusters so either I didn't get to spray all of them or they've just been multiplying at a really qu quick rate. But that's them. So um, what you have to do is I've not seen any um, I've not seen any solutions. You see how they then wander around like that. Yeah, so when they're adult. Oh, so it's a, a little gathering there there were two already there and then they travel around like that but they can fly so in cooler countries you'll find them um, and I've seen a few wanting to get onto the wall um, they go where it's warmer so in cooler countries they'll infest and you know find a warm place um, but in the hot countries it's it's here it's like they're just here and what I don't want is for them to go around other plants so I'll just have to keep trying to keep the population down and hope they don't spread come come on good boy <laughs> he loves it now the grass has been cut so that's it so um, I wanted to show you them and at the end of the day you're going to get pests that are going to be hard if, especially if you're you know you've got an organic you're, you're growing organically you're going to have pests and it's to keep plants healthy um, and you avoid when you try and keep plants healthy that helps keep the pests down and what I should do with this is cut it right back it, I've, I've cut it back a, a quite a few times, this um, cotton plant, and uh, I'm going to cut it back before the next round of flowers form, which will then produce more cotton, and, um, and that hopefully will deter them from hanging around here. And I've got a few other cotton plants that I've just cut back and to really try and keep the plant as healthy as possible because I think perhaps because I'd left it, it has been, um, it's been having some problems and then they moved in and it's just like, you know, we've got free buffet here and I haven't been able to harvest any cotton from here because they just attack the, I think they're called walls, W-H-O-R-L-S. But anyway, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. And, um, I've got a cotton plant. Very large cotton plant. <laughs> and 
and that's it. So if you've got any of these critters and you know how to, you, you recognise them and you know how to um, get rid of them. I've been looking online and I've not found anything. So I've just been continuing with my um, remedies to see if I can get rid of them. Anyway, so take care for now. And I hope you, um, if you can help, leave a comment. And if you're familiar with them, leave a comment. Look forward to catching up with you. Take care for now. Bye.